Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Juliet Capulet. Juliet Capulet is of course the leading lady in one of the most well-known, most famous Shakespearean plays, Romeo and Juliet. I'm pretty sure you've all heard the story at least once. It is so incredibly famous. Two young people from rivaling families fall in love. They are not allowed to fall in love because, well, basically their parents hate each other. She is promised to another man. She doesn't want to marry him. She falls in love with Romeo, wants to marry Romeo. They devise a plan where she poisons herself to look unconscious so that she doesn't have to marry the other man. Romeo doesn't know about the plan, sees her unconscious, thinks she's dead, kills himself, then she wakes up, sees that he is dead and ends up killing herself as well. Tragic story, but one that has been recreated and adapted so, so, so many times. It is actually not a Shakespeare original. There has been a, a kind of orally transmitted version of this story and a poem and some more adaptations before the actual Shakespeare play. But the Shakespeare version is the one that has caught on and is really the one that is recreated the most. We don't know much about what Juliet looked like like um, or was supposed to look like in the story we know that she was probably played by a young man in the uh, Shakespeare play and that she has been portrayed by many gorgeous gorgeous ladies throughout history but what we do know is that she is very very young she is 13 in the Shakespeare story and uh, she is said to be very beautiful and bright so we're assuming that means she had light skin, like um, very fair skin. And because she was Italian, she probably had dark hair, but it's not specified. Most of the actresses that have portrayed her have had dark hair. So the look I went for today is kind of my own interpretation of uh, Juliet. I went for a very youthful makeup look, pretty much just making everything look really fresh and make me look a little bit younger than I am. I It's been a while since I was 13, so... <laughs> The hairstyle that I've gone for is also kind of my own interpretation. Um, Juliet wears something similar to this in a couple of scenes in the 2013 movie, Romeo and Juliet, but this is not an exact copy of that. This is just something that I like. I have always imagined Juliet with a half updo. I just think it fits her. Um, it's, it's a nice and romantic kind of type of hairstyle and it is semi consistent with 16th century Italy where the story would have taken place. I have a little bit of hair taping going on, a nice half updo with long brown curls. So let me show you how to recreate Julia's look. So starting with the makeup, like I said, I'm just going to go for a very fresh faced look. So I'm going to start with a little bit of foundation to even out my skin tone. Get rid of any blemishes and imperfections. Then I'm going to apply some concealer on my under eye area to cover up my dark circles. And then I'm going to go in with a cream highlighter. I'm going to use this just again to give a very youthful glow. So I'm going to apply that on top of my cheekbones and blend it out with my beauty blender here. And then whatever's left on my beauty blender, I'm going to apply on the tip of my nose and on the kind of most hollow part of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to powder everything off with a transparent powder to mattify my face and set everything in place. So another thing that makes you look really young and youthful is a blush on the apples of the cheeks. So I'm going to take this bright pink color and I'm just going to apply a wash of it on, uh, well, more towards the front of my cheeks. So closer to my nose. All right, so for the eyes, I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm going to fill them in. And I'm going to make them a little bit thicker and straighter than mine naturally are. Thick and straight eyebrows make a person look a lot younger, I think. And it just gives a very youthful kind of healthy appearance. So that's what I'm going to go for. A little bit straighter, a little bit thicker, nice and full. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply a thin layer of mascara and I'm going to actually just comb this through with a spoolie just to be sure to get rid of all the clumps and my lashes are nice and separated and this looks extra natural. And then for the lips I'm just going to go with a very simple nude colored lip gloss just again to give a very fresh and young looking appearance. So there's the makeup done, now moving on to the hair. I applied a set of hair extensions to my hair just to get that really full and long uh, look to my hair. You can absolutely skip this step if you would like. So first what I'm going to do is spray my hair with a little bit of heat protector since we are going to curl it. And I'm just going to comb my hair through to make sure it is distributed evenly and then I'm going to curl my hair with a 19mm curling iron and I'm just going to take sections and just curl the bottoms of my hair. So I'm starting the curl around the nape of my neck, 
And this is going to give those beautiful loose kind of princessy curls. And it's just a lot quicker because you don't have to do any pinning and sectioning. You just grab a section of hair and then let it go behind your shoulders. And I'm going to do that all over my head. So the other side as well. And when everything is curled, I'm just going to try and fix my bangs a little bit by wrapping them around my curling iron in the, in the direction I want them to go and then pinning them down with a little bobby pin just to set in this direction. Okay, so I'm going to give all of these curls a couple of minutes to cool down and in fact, I'm not going to touch them at all. They are going to uh, relax a little bit and separate a little bit just by how I move my hair and when I go about my day. And I like them to be a little bit pronounced because it gives just a little bit more of a period feel to it, I think. So I'm just going to leave the curls as they are right now. If you like, you can just separate them with your fingers a little bit. I definitely would not brush these out. All right, so on to the actual hairstyle, I'm going to take the front section of my hair from my hairline to my crown and all the way down to my ear I'm just going to grab all of this hair and make a rope braid out of this so I'm going to separate this into two sections twist both of these sections towards my face and then twist them around each other away from my face and I'm going to do this all the way down the length of my hair until I've created a nice rope braid and I'm going to tie that off and do the same thing on the other side so take that chunk of hair divide it into two Twist both these sections towards my face and then twist them around each other, away from my face. So when I've done that, I'm going to create a little crown on top of my head and I'm going to cheat my way around this a little bit by just guiding one of the braids over my head and then the other one underneath it so that they form one circle together. My hair is not long enough to um, go around my head full circle so this is a nice way I can still achieve that look. So I'm going to start with the top one, just guide it over my head pin it down on the other side and then I'm going to take the other braid guide it behind my head and then pin that down in the front and I'm just going to hide the tails of the braids kind of beneath the base of the other one and use plenty of bobby pins we want this to last so then I'm just going to take a string of pearls and I'm going to kind of weave this through my hair and this really gives that beautiful romantic kind of Italian Renaissance feeling to the hair and I just I just think this is very Julian. All right, so just to give my bangs this final little push, I'm going to tease them a little bit and this usually helps them stay towards the side. Of course, if you don't have bangs, this is not a problem for you, but this is just kind of how I deal with them. And that is your Julian look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking here or the red button below. There is another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. If you have any requests for beauty beacons, real or fictional, you would like me to recreate, leave them down in the comments below and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!